If you have followed me in homeschool spaces for any length of time, then you know we love Mr. D Math. So when he reached out and asked if I'd like to check out the new gamification layer he has added to his classes, I said, absolutely, send it on over. And I am excited to share it with you today. Hi, I'm Mary Wilson, a homeschooling mother of four kids. Now, granted, one has graduated college and is in the workforce. She used Mr. D starting in 10th grade. My other daughter is about to graduate from community college. My son graduates this May from high school, and I still have a 15-year-old. And yes, they have all used Mr. D since we discovered him about seven years ago. We loved Mr. D right away because the videos explained the math concepts in an easy to understand and a solid uh, way. I was a former math teacher in middle school. I taught middle school students. So I was a little picky about how the math was presented. And I loved Mr. D. And having gone through all of the classes now, from pre-algebra to algebra two, I can say it is a solid math program. And one of the things I love about this gamification layer is it doesn't change that. Mr. D hasn't turned math into a noisy video game that kids are playing. Instead, he has added a layer of gamification to motivate and encourage students as they work through the math lesson. Let's take a look in the Mr. D classroom now with the gamification layer. If you've ever used Mr. D, then you see things look pretty similar to what you're used to. Over here, this is Algebra 2, and we have our list of lessons so your child can find where they are, though it does keep track. <laughs> I've been playing around with it, so you can see I've completed a few of the sections. Here I am at the end of the lesson for solving equations. I went ahead and hopped back to the actual solving equation lesson in case you're not familiar with Mr. D. There is always a video lesson where Mr. D teaches you the concepts. And as you are learning, you work through the coursework and then the solutions are provided in a step-by-step -step guide. Once you're finished, you can enter a grade for your coursework. Even though this is called a quiz, it's just a way for students to pick how they did in their coursework. Now, I will be honest, in my house, as long as they tried and they completed their coursework, we don't grade it for right and wrong. We grade it, but then we fix anything that was incorrect. So this is more of a completion grade in my house. But you can see the gamification layer at work after you enter your score here. In addition to receiving the traditional grade of an A+, we are also awarded points for our success on this classwork. For some kids, it's gonna add another layer of challenge and motivation as they try to level up and earn more points. And of course, they're practicing the math concepts. They can go back and retake a quiz in order to level up and earn more points in addition to the traditional grade. But for a lot of homeschoolers, especially in middle school, the traditional grades aren't quite as motivating as the gamification could be. The great news is if the gamification is not your thing, then you don't have to purchase a gamified course. You can choose the traditional classes as well. Mr. Dean knows that homeschoolers love to make things work for them. So you don't have to choose gamification now, but it is an option. And I am excited to have my son try it in the fall. If you want to learn more about our experience in the past with Mr. D, I have lots of links for you below. After seven years of, of using Mr. D, I've reviewed many of his courses, including the SAT class. So definitely check that out. And let me know, do you think gamification would work well to motivate your students at home?